As he moved forward, Piglet noticed a grandfather clock. There was something rather strange about this clock. Right, so, okay. There's apparently an item I'm missing. That's a bit awkward, ain't it? So we gotta go look to see if we can find what the heck we're missing. Let's go back to the library. Okay. Don't think there's anything in here. So I wonder if there's another room I haven't been in. I'm just thinking, I bet you anything there's more to this. Okay. Is there anything around here I haven't done? Okay, I've done that. So let's try going in here. And see if there's anything here I've missed. Um. Okay. Anything down here? A oh, gopher's gone, apparently. Is there anything down here I've missed? No. Hmm. Hey, wait a second. What the heck am I doing? Am I an idiot or something? I've just realized. I thought there was something I needed. I've just realized. I don't think there is. I think if you actually just use the X, Piglet will do something automatically. Wow, I am an idiot. Sorry about wasting this time, but yeah, I actually just realized. I don't think I need an item. I don't think I'm missing an item. I just thought in my head I need an item for this. I've just remembered. No, I don't think I do. I think Piglet will do it automatically. I am an idiot. Okay, we're back here again. Then let's go this way. Into here. Now let's try and just use that X. Well, just use it. Just don't worry about the item. Let's see what happens. Oh, my flip, yes. What? You stand on the X and the chest appears. How does that work? There we go. Now Piglet goes up there and gets the other portraits. This painting was one of those lost by Al. All Piglet had to do was to bring it back to him. Well, that's easy. Now that we've done it. And hopefully this will mean we'll be able to get our hands on the memory book and get Al's memories back. Heck, Piglet's a helpful fellow, ain't he? He even helps his friends when they lose their memories. Which I gotta admit is very admirable, considering how hard that can be.
Let's go to Al's room. And let us go this way. And place it here. Up it goes. Yes, that's it. That's just what I needed, Blippet. Now, if my deductions are correct, my book of memories must be behind this secret passage. What? Are you serious, Owl? Okay. Let's go together, Owl. Well, well, I, 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 I think I shall wait for you uh, right here. You see, uh, without my glasses, I <laughs> won't see a thing. Maybe if you like this room, I can follow you. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's the way. What? Okay, I'll a little weird for an excuse, but I'll go with it for now. That was very strange. And what the heck? Oh my flip! Is this one of these time puzzles? Well, there's the book of memories. Problem! Okay. Who's the wise guy? Yep. Well, funny thing, I gotta do this now. We need to actually light all these within the time limit. There we go! Lovely! That was a lot simpler than I thought. And back goes the carpet! Wait, what? You okay, Piglet? I think because you rushed. Uh Some light! Oh my, my. What a lot of books. My book. Yep. <laughs> Owl's memory book. My, my book. You have restored my past. Piglet. Oh, I call you Piglet. Yes. You recovered my memory. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I'm very happy for you, Owl. I can never thank you enough, my young Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. And so it was that Owl finally recovered his memory, thanks to the courage and bravery of our small but big-hearted friend, Piglet. Yep. Well, that was awesome. We've now completed Owl's memory. So, that's all for this next chapter of Piglet's Big Game. Next time, we move on to A, going to get Owl's dream saved from the enemies, and then move on to the next dream. I will see you guys next episode.